Sparkle Connect Edition. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about hidden beams. So we are going to model two structures, one with hidden beam and one without hidden beam. And we are going to see the effects of hidden beams in a structure. So we have a slab of six meter by six meter. So let's model that. Okay. So pick any point as your origin. Select your node cursor. Okay. Select your node cursor. Translational repeat in the x direction six meters number of step three okay so click ok so select your nodes okay translational repeat in the z direction six meters also six meters and click ok so you can see this so select this translational repeat in the y direction three meters so the height of the building is three meters so number of step one link step okay so the newly created nodes we are going to connect them together so view okay so go to, uh, go to the front view i like this node so connect go back to geometry it is x axis yes and z axis okay so after doing that you go to the view display whole structure now i don't want these beams at this point because i want to create two separate um structures so i'll go back to geometry and select the beams i want to delete so select this delete and also select this and delete so you can hold control for multiple selection if you wish to so we have this okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to create property but before creating property i need to place the hidden beam so i'm going to divide this structure into two insert mode okay at the midpoint yes then go to add beam under that arrow you see perpendicular intersection so select it click this and drop it on the beam you want to intersect it so it goes perpendicularly to it okay so we've done that so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to generate place mesh so i will select my beam cursor go to view um from view select this okay so display structure then go back to geometry add plates and infill plates we are going to infill the plates so you can see three new plates are created so creating your 3d rendering you can see something like this so the reason why it does not have any thickness or width or depth is because we have not assign property so we are going to do that in the next one so under the property define rectangular so i'm saying my column is 300 by 300 column then my beam is going to be 300 by 0.45 okay then my hidden beam is going to be um 300 by 150 because then we are assuming the slab thickness as 150 so add then the thickness of the plates is going to be 150 okay so assign to view assign to view so you can see the three plates have been assigned then this is going to be assigned to the select beams parallel to y that's for the columns assigned to selected beams assign then this will be okay this will be assigned to the hidden beam so select this then this will select missing properties without properties so assign to selected sorry okay so select missing properties it has left elasticity okay so new view so i just assign that straight to view okay so assign to view assign to view okay so view display whole structure now so we can see our structure in 3d now so right click 3d rendering so you see your structure you can see your flat beam we have there so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to select my plate cursor okay so highlight the whole plate in the structure right click generate plate mesh and divide it into 10 okay so quadrilateral meshing is okay so we have this so i can close this for this to go so you can also see it in 3d rendering sorry sorry the plate only so okay so you can see our structure in 3d rendering okay so once you press shift key it brings out the node 
press shift key on your keyboard and shift n okay, so you see you have your mode numbering okay so we have 9 and 17 this is the middle of where we are going okay so i'll turn them back off shift key and shift n to turn them back off okay so we have our supports create supports fixed supports add okay so go to the view on view select the nodes down go to new view so i was supposed to select this before this so assign to view assign to view yes okay so go back to the old structure display old structure so we can see this now now the next one we are going to go we are going to be doing the load here so we are going to be adding the load so we have the dead load and the live load so under the load case details let's click add so the first one we have is the dead click add and the next one we have is the live click add okay so under the load case details one click it we have the self weight then we have the weight of block which is negative 10 so minus 10 on the weight of block add then we have the plate load that is for screening partition and everything and we are using a value of minus the kilonewton per meter square so add close then under this i will assign the self weight to view so i need to get the self weight of everything then this wall load i'm going to select beams parallel to x and z so go here beams parallel to x parallel to z sorry parallel to x parallel to z direction so new view okay so we can see this so i'm going to select everything and try to select this without affecting this so i'll do this it's the top view go for multiple selection so she selected this i'm going to deselect it sorry but to save time there's another shortcut i can do i'm going to select by this now so display all structure select your load select this now select by property name by property so i know my beam is this so i've selected it so this is it assigned to selected beams assigned to selected beams now i can see this this is to my slab so i'll just assign it straight to view assign straight to view then for my live load i'm going to for the live load i'm going to use the value of minus four okay so i'll just assign it to view Okay, so we are done with that and i'm going to create load combination first one i'm going to create is the service load combination so i bring in these two that's for the service so i can rename it service okay so add close then i will tell start group to create automatic euro code combination for me so generate load combination then go to my analysis define command perform analysis no prints then add okay so we've done that and then go back to my loading to see this so we are going to run the analysis okay so run the analysis let's see if you have any error or warning so we have one warning and that warning is going to be about the structure being disjointed okay so you can see it so that's not an issue so we'll go to the post processing and um i don't need this load case i return it inside i don't need this to i return it so i just need the service and the ultimate okay so we can see our structure now let's see the reaction at first so we can see we have a load of 250 let's say 251 kilonewton and we have 248 or 249 so we can see of two kilonewton difference so it means that the hidden beam is adding extra two kilonewtons to the structure. Now let's see what it is in deflection. Let me turn off my reaction. Okay. So now I'm going to select my um, node cursor and bring out my node numbers. So shift key, shift N. Now select your node cursor. 
now you can see node 17 we have node 17 this is it so select node 17 you can also see it here if you wish to sorry this is beam so once i select it okay i double click it it's because i'm on beam result so i'll come to displacement to easily get it so i select node 17 sorry of night node 17 and i can see that for my node 17 in my service i have a displacement of um, minus 7 and the ultimate is almost minus 10 so somewhere here at the center also i think at the center should be 190 so select this so you can see almost at this point now let's pick at the center that is 194 the service load is minus 15 and minus 21 so let's pick at the center of this node 17 at the center that should be um, uh, around this so you can see it right okay somewhere here so it's the same thing so you can see it we have a value of minus 15 and minus 21 with respect to minus this so you can so we can see that the difference in what the hidden beam is doing is not really much it's just there to serve as a stiffener to help um stiffen the structure okay so we can see we are running the same page now let's see the bending moment diagram so select this turn off my node cursor shift n and shift k to turn it off now i can see my bending moment along the main axis that is the perimeter beams are bigger than the hidden beam this is because in finite elements the plate transfers load to more of the stiffer member so if we are using the normal flow member if we are using the flow load that which transfers load in the triple tree area we know that this hidden beam is going to take more load that means half of this load comes here half of this load comes here but in the finite element it goes where um, it, the load transfers to the member with more stiffness so you can see this is bigger because it's 300 by 450 why this is just 300 by 150 so there will be lesser load on this compared to this so most of the load will come here so we can see the difference between the hidden beam and that so we can check more okay so you can check more then also another thing you can do is to check what they are you can pick randomly at the center to check what they are and see this see the effect of it okay so we can see that it's almost within the same range randomly outside okay so thank you for watching today's video if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section thank you very much